Hello everyone, this is Techno Sleuth Craig Chamberlain here. Today we're going to start a new series. I know I'm doing many series at once, but this one I'm particularly excited about. It is called Geek-tastic. In the Geek-tastic series, we'll be going over software that is so fantastic that geeks can't help but help themselves. I know, as corny as that sounds, but seriously, you guys are going to love some of these software tools that I'm going to go over here. The first one I'm going to go over today is called PDF Creator. Now, for those of you who don't know about this software, this software is going to make you extremely popular. Now, Adobe Reader charges to create PDF documents, unless, of course, you have their free trial version, in which case they, you know, will let you make a few of them maybe for a certain amount of time. And a lot of you probably buy quotas for the amount you're allowed to create, or maybe you pay per individual PDF. Now, at www.pcmichiana.com, which is my homepage, if you scroll down to the bottom right-hand corner, you're going to see a little piece of software under free software tools called PDF Creator. Now, this is an open source piece of software, and if you're redirected to, you will be redirected to CNET, in which you see the ra ratings on this are phenomenal. Now, the average user ratings on this are only 4 out of 5 for a very good reason. This is not a perfect piece of software, but like I've said, it's free. So when something's free, you can't really be as critical as, uh, say, on software you have to pay a lot of money for. Now, secondly, another reason this piece of software is great is because it's very lightweight. In other words, it doesn't chew up a lot of your resources in order to actually print a PDF or put something onto a PDF document. And I'm going to show you that real quick. Now, if I click on Start in All Programs and I go up to PDF Creator, and I open it up, you're going to see a little window here that shows up when you actually print a document to PDF. This works a lot like your Windows print spooler. And for those of you that don't know what a print spooler is, I'll show you what it looks like. You pretty much see this every time you send a print job. And what happens is, is you look at, you get this little window here, and your little documents show up here one at a time in a list. Same thing with the PDF creator. All the PDF creator is, is it's an installed printer. So whatever you print, you print to the PDF creator instead of your printer, and it'll print it to a PDF document. Now let me go ahead and make a perfect example of this here. Let's say that hypothetically you have a document, maybe an open office, that says Geektastic on it, right? And you want to print this to PDF. Now, all you have to do is when you have PDF creator installed is click File, Print. Go ahead, instead of selecting your actual printer, select PDF creator, click OK. When this comes up, it lets you uh, title your uh, document, your PDF document. Well, no, no. It lets you title your PDF. This isn't actually the file name. Let's just call this one Geektastic. And then go ahead and you can put sub what the subject is. You can put certain keywords on it. And all these will be stored in the actual properties of the file itself. You can put the author. And then when you click Save, it lets you choose the actual file name and location. I'm going to save it to my desktop as Geektastic. And after it's created, it will open up the PDF document on your desktop. If, of course, you selected the option to do that, which it is activated by default. And here I have geektastic.pdf. Now, let me go ahead and go back to my desktop. And here it is, geektastic.pdf. We've officially created our own PDF. Now, for those of you who want to put multiple pages from different sources, don't fret. It also allows you to do that. So let me hypothetically say you want to print this web page also. So let me go ahead and go up to File, Print. When your list of printers come up, select the PDF Creator, click Print. It'll give you the options to title the document and go through what you normally do. I'm just going to go put Multi-Page Test. And now, instead of clicking the Save button or the Email button, I'll select the Wait and Collect. Now this is just going to open up my print monitor and it's going to wait, see it says waiting, for me to print another document. So I'm going to go back to my Geektastic. I'm going to go File, print PDF creator again click OK after a few seconds what it's going to do is it's going to add itself to this list see now we have two documents sitting right next to each other now let's say I printed this first but I really wanted the second page that I printed to be the first page no problem I'll just move it up see now that's on the first order of the list and this is on the second but wait a minute I don't want these to print separate I want them to print together so what I do is I highlight both of them right click click combine Notice a little percentage progress bar will come up here and it will start combining the document together. After the document is combined, I can right click and click print. Now it's going to ask me to title it multi-page test. Let me go ahead and click save this time. Go to my desktop, click save. It's going to go ahead and process the document. Sometimes it takes a while, depends on how big the, the file you're saving is going to be on your, on your hard drive. And then it's going to automatically open and here we have page one Geektastic. 
And if I scroll down, look at that. I have my Internet Explorer page that's printed as well. Now, of course, it's a big disaster area because uh, when you print web pages in general, you always get uh, it cut off. Basically, it's printing the left bar, then you scroll down, it prints the middle content. But this has nothing to do with the PDF creator itself. That's just how web pages tend to print when you send them to standard printers. Now, that's pretty much all there is. For those of you who have been frustrated with uh, compatibility issues, whether you're sending an email to a coworker or a friend and they don't have, say, Microsoft Word, or they don't have uh, Adobe Photoshop, or they don't have Microsoft Excel, maybe they don't have PowerPoint. PowerPoint's a huge one. Now all you have to do is print those documents straight to PDF, and not only will they be, the file sizes be smaller because PDF is a compressed file format, but it'll also be readable by any Adobe reader or any other PDF reader they may have. Now, if that isn't geektastic, I don't know what is. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and do not forget to hit subscribe. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a rating and a comment. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a rating and a comment. Thanks for stopping by.